Which of the biggest Ballon d'Or robberies of all time? Firstly, for me, Stanley Matthews. He won the first ever Ballon d'Or back in 1956. Now, of course, Matthews was an absolute legend of the game and had been hugely successful during his 33-year career. But in 1956, Matthews was 41 years old and had scored three goals in 37 games that season. Meanwhile, Alfredo de Stefano for Real Madrid finished with just one less preference vote than Matthews. He scored 29 goals in 37 games and won the first ever European Cup. Up next is actually Messi in 2010. Sure, the Argentinian was Wizard had a good year, but Iniesta and Xavi were playing their best ever football and clinched that World Cup for Spain, whilst winning the same trophies that Messi did for Barcelona. Under the radar though was actually Wesley Schneider. Not only did he reach the World Cup final, but he also helped seal that treble with Inter Milan. Lastly, it has to be Pavel Nedved winning the award in 2003 over Thierry Henry. Nedved had a decent season. He'd scored 14 and he assisted 11, and with the Czech Republic national team, they were on a two-year unbeaten streak. He'd also won Serie A and the Italian League Cup and reached a Champions League final. But Henry was racking up 66 goal contributions in the calendar year. A feat that was very hard to come by before the days of Messi and Ronaldo. That is a joke. Comment down below of what you think was the biggest ever robbery of the Ballon d'Or in your opinion. But if you're ever wondering, 